Hi, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and this is going to be a how-to video to show you how to print your EQ and effects from a Soundcraft Signature 22 multi-track uh, console into your Pro Tools recording session. The reason why this may be something that you would want to do is because the way that the Signature Series consoles, regardless of what um, model you have, whether it's the uh, multi-track or the, just the regular uh, USB return, the um, the EQ and the effects are pre-record. So the the recorded track you send into your doll does not have the EQ and the effects that you set on the tracks going into your doll. Um, what is recorded are your any limiting you you put on it and the gain the channel gain you select as well as your uh, high pass right here so you could high pass uh, your uh, your vocals or any instrument you you'd want to have the low end cleared up and again so everything here is recorded Everything down this way is not. Here's your EQs. Let me let me zoom out a little bit. Here's your EQs. This is your aux sends. Here's your effects sends. Here's your panning. Here's your channel mute. And then there's your pre-fader. And this is your send section where your master, your group one, and group two. Okay, and then obviously here's your faders. All right, well, way I'm going to... Uh, show you today is I have recorded a drum kit now I want to take that drum kit that I recorded and I want to print these EQ settings onto my uh, tracks inside of Pro Tools I'm going to show you how to set that up uh, this is one way this is how I do it or just I should say this is how I found that it works well. I may change this a month from now. I may find out, I find a better way to do it in a week. But for right now, this is the way I'm implementing it in my sessions. And the way I do it, I'm going to try to show you the routing. Basically, what I do is um, on each channel, I do a channel at a time. On each channel in the, uh, the aux sections, you'll see I have aux 1 and aux 2 all the way up. Those go... It feeds each channel into my uh, headphone amp that goes out to my artists that are that are here so they can uh, hear what they're doing. And what I'm going to do is when I have a track I'm going to print, I'm going to turn this up. This is going to aux 3. So now I'm sending a full signal of what is coming into this channel from Pro Tools into aux 3. And why that's important, I'll show you now. All right, here's my auxes. Here's aux one. Here's aux two. Here's aux three. Here's aux four and aux five. One and two are, are like I said, are already going out to my headphone amp. And now aux 3, you can see there's a little patch cable right here. Let's zoom out. I have this going into track 14. I just picked track 14. It's close. Um, it's a mono track, and that's what I needed. And uh, so there, there's, no, there's no real method or reasoning behind me going picking 14 other than the fact that that's just the one I chose. Okay. All right. Now, so basically what that means is the signal that I am sending through Pro Tools by USB return gets this EQing and any effects I would send here into the AUX 3, which goes into track 14. Now, 14, th these are all set flat. They're not, I, I don't have any... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not processing the, uh, this audio 
for anything other than to, I'm sorry, I'm 14, for anything other than to just get a, a, a signal back into uh, the doll. Okay, so I set my, this is, the, the gain on channel 14 is what I use to level match my signal that is coming, that was in Pro Tools to the signal that I'm sending back into Pro Tools. Okay, and then from there, I send track 14 out to group 1 and 2. which is right here. Now this is what I'm sending into, I guess you would call it the print track. Now the print track uh, is what we are going to arm in the recording session when we create a new track. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, here we are inside of Pro Tools. And basically what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I've got the drum uh, kit that I've recorded here. And I'm going to print the kick. I've got the kick routed. It's going back into my analog one channel, channel one. I'm going to create a new mono audio track. I'm going to name it kick effects print. Its input is going to be my print track. I'm going to route it out to my drum bus. I'm going to solo the kick. And I'm going to set up my monitoring for the, the kick track. I'm also going to make sure the pre-fader metering, pre metering is selected. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my mix window what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play back the kick and I am going to try to level match the uh, the kick that uh, is on Pro Tools and the kick that is coming out of the, the console okay here we go All right, that actually looks pretty close. So um, what I was doing there is I was adjusting the uh, gain on channel 14, which is where uh, my aux 3 is routing into via the, uh, the patch cable. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arm the, uh, the kick, the kick uh, print track for recording. And then we are going to watch the, uh, the print uh, as as it occurs. All right, okay. There's our printed drum track. This is the drums. This That is this drum track running through channel one on the Signature 22 console with my EQ settings printed here. And then let's, for comparison, let's route this out to the drum bus. Let's hear the kick as it originally was recorded. And then here it is. Uh, as it was printed. Again, here is the original. And here is the printed. I'm not trying to add volume to it. I'm all I'm trying to do is add EQ, uh, the EQ that I want. I want to. I wanted to add more punch and more and more beef, uh, bottom end to that the kick that I as I recorded it, 
and uh, some high end clarity and the uh, the Sapphire EQ in the uh, Sa Soundcraft Signature 22 console really has an awesome uh, uh, EQ uh, when you in in imply it or you imp imprint it onto some of these tracks. Uh, kick real kick and snare really does a, a great job uh, with with the EQ. Now understand you can destroy uh, a mix real easy with these EQs because uh, as forgiving as they are, you can over sauce a little bit. And and uh, I'm not trying to do that here. I'm just trying to uh, add a little bit more of the kick that I know the drummer from this band wanted. He's mentioned to me um, sound he was going for. We uh, got a really good clean drum. Uh, as it was tracked in the studio, and I was able to uh, get an EQ uh, quickly uh, turned up on the console that he, he that he liked. So I told him I would print it out, and we get that going. Okay, and that's really it. You could again do this for any other track, um, as I showed how you routed it here. Uh, this would also work great on vocals if uh, you want to imprint some effects. You could run it through the um, Lexicon uh, effect module inside of the uh, signature consoles and print them uh, through through the same method as well um, if you have any questions about this just let me know um, again I'm not saying this is the only way you can do it or that this is even the proper way to do it this is just the way that I found uh, by messing around with it trying a couple different ways that I was able to get the best results to work for my sessions all right thank you very much you guys have a great day